Hi everyone, hope you're doing absolutely awesome. These are going to be my first impressions of the Condor Tool and Knife Inca Machete. Unfortunately, I think this model was discontinued quite a while ago by Condor. I purchased it a few months ago from Blade HQ. I think perhaps they came into some new old stock of the model. They had it listed on the website as 1095 steel, but I believe it is a stainless steel, probably 420 high carbon. So what we have is a blade length of 11.9 inches or 303 millimeters. We have an overall length of 17.2 inches or 437 millimeters. And we have a blade stock thickness of right around 100 thousandths or 2.6 millimeters. So pretty much the same blade stock thickness as a CRKT Chanson Hell Machete. And we have a weight of the knife of 12.5 ounces or 353 grams. And with the sheath, it weighs 17.1 ounces or 485 grams. So uh, considerably lighter than a CRKT Chance in Hell machete. The handle is constructed of a blue polymer. I believe it's polypropylene. The flat portion of the blade has a bead blasted finish, whereas the edge is convex ground and it is pretty much a mirror polish. I will note that there are actually a few dings along the edge, probably from improper handling of the blade during shipment or something. Approximately two inches of the blade near the heel is unsharpened and the spine of the blade is crowned. The handle is oval shaped and has a single lanyard hole. Okay, let's test sharpness out of the box. So here's a standard sheet of copier paper. Pretty good for a machete out of the box. It does hang up a bit on a few of the dings, but overall it's pretty nice. Here's a view of my hand gripping the handle. The sheath is constructed of black leather with the Condor logo on it. It has a belt loop which is able to rotate on this rivet here and a single snap enclosure. Uh, I will note that the sheath is not nearly as thick as Condor sheaths often are. It's quite a bit thinner leather, but still it's fine. Here's the machete snapped up in the sheath. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you could subscribe, like, and share, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. I'd like to thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye now.